Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be going over some of the new updates that Figma has made regarding copy paste and how, how basically the, the most common behaviors of copy paste work so we can understand it better and use it to its utmost potential, hopefully. <laughs> so anytime you, when you're basically navigating some screens, let's say some frames or art boards within, within Figma, you can basically just press the N key to go to the first one and then keep on pressing N to go to the next one. If you want to go back, you can press shift N. So let's just get started. Well, the first thing that Figma wants uh, to let us know is that whenever you have basically selected an item um, and then when you place it, it basically does a couple of things, right? So as an example, if I'm gonna select this particular object, this is sitting inside of a frame. And then if I select, for example, this other frame uh, and I paste it, as you can see, if I actually go on this object, notice the top X and Y and uh, the, the, the X and Y positioning, right? So if I look at the X positioning and if I look at the Y positioning, one thing that needs to be certain is that Figma is actually gonna try to maintain its X and Y positioning if it's possible. Now, obviously in this case, if I actually paste the, the object here, the Y maintaining the Y positioning is not really that possible because this box isn't necessarily that high. So if a condition like that occurs, Figma is gonna let go of the original Y positioning and rather it's gonna center the element within the frame that you have selected. But obviously that also is rel relative of the size of this frame. If the, if the frame is really large or really small or something and it's not even in view completely, then that may differ. But normally, generally you need to understand that the X and Y positioning would be maintained. maintained. If it cannot be maintained, then it would be centered relative to that particular axis. So if we have a look at this particular item, as you can see, the X position is maintained. However, uh, the top and bottom are close to center. And basically the box is now being centered within this particular frame. Now let's have a look at some of the other stuff. So <clears throat> basically uh, what they're trying to tell us is that they've introduced a paste here option. And the paste here option actually allows you to paste the object relative to the position of your mouse. So if I take my mouse here and then say paste here, as you can see, the object is pasted. I personally don't think this is really that powerful. I don't think it is because rarely do we just want to place elements without any context around it and following our mouse. But for those who do, this would be very powerful. So I can just go here as an example, I can say paste here and it's going to ref respect my mouse position and probably going to place the element um, at uh, a close by proximity to my mouse. We can actually experiment that with some of the other frames. So if I actually copy this and I paste it, and as you can see, since currently this particular element had a X and Y that was really huge and it would, could not be uh, managed within this particular frame, it actually centered it. Now instead, if I, let's say, command Z this and I actually choose paste here, you can see the X and Y positioning of the original element does not matter. It's just gonna be positioned relative to my mouse basically. One other thing or one other important thing to note is this is an auto layout and if I actually paste the item, as you can see in the auto layout, it's in, in the sidebar, it's actually included within the auto layout because I've asked it to. However, if I actually go and say paste here, you can see it's being pasted at the top of the frame in itself rather than within a particular box, even if I am, uh, even if I have selected a box. So as an example, I go here and I say paste here. Right now it is pasted within the frame, but if I actually select this auto layout and say paste here, as you can see, the paste, the object is not moved within the auto layout. So it may be moved when you're actually, when you have actually selected a frame, but not um, because, uh, but not, but not when you have selected an auto layout. One other thing that you want to know about is I can go here and I can say paste here. Uh, similarly, in this case, paste here, it's going to be pasted. But as you can see, none of them are being placed exactly over the star. And it's really um, problematic for us to assume that someone would ever be able to position this particular element in the place they actually wanted it. Even if they use paste here, they would still have to modify it somehow. Paste here, in my opinion, can actually be used if you just want to paste an object without it using its original X and Y position, which, which sometimes sometimes messes, messes things up. So now that we're done with that, let's have a look at some of the other things. Now this is actually the most powerful thing that have has been introduced. So as you can see, imagine this is a footer or these are some elements at the bottom right. 
And now if I wanted to paste, multi-paste these across all screens, I can let's say select all of these frames and I can paste them. Now, as you can see, all of these shapes, which are the one that I selected above, are actually being pasted relative to their original positioning, which is the bottom right on that frame. And it's also preserving its X and Y positioning with respect to um, the, the slides that I've set selected. And this is extremely, extremely important. Um, some other things with the, basically with the same exercise. Now, if I actually, as you can see in this case, particularly we don't have the header uh, positioned in a frame similar to some of the other frames. In this case, we did. So obviously it's respecting its position, but right now here it won't because the X and Y positioning is actually reflective of the X and Y of this larger frame. And obviously we don't have that X and Y space in these frames, so it's not gonna respect that position and rather it's gonna be positioned centered to all of these frames. So if I select these frames and I say paste, as you can see, it's centered vertically almost and centered horizontally. Now, if I wanted to move them, I can basically press the shift key to actually uh, prohibit myself from moving these this item to the left and right that much, and I can just move it at the top. Now, this other thing is also extremely important. The one thing that you need to know about is that they've introduced a paste to replace option where you can copy an object um, and you can basically replace uh, the, the previous object with this. And not only will it replace it, but it will, it will also take its positioning. And that's really important. Imagine you had created, let's say, 20 headers or 20 buttons or something along those lines. Uh, you can basically copy it and replace it um, easily, like without, without actually manually placing them or anything along those lines. So I'm gonna copy this element and I'm gonna go to this particular star and I'm gonna press Command Shift V or I'm gonna say Paste to Replace. As you can see, it's now replaced. <clears throat> and if I do a normal replace and I just say Paste, so obviously when I'm pasting it, it's moving it to its current position because that's what it position was. And I can also use Paste here, but as you can see, it's not replacing or overlapping the element. And Paste here is just so important. Imagine you had created, let's say, tons of buttons, but you forgot to make, compo make components out of them. So now you can select your button and you can say Command Shift V. And as you can see, the buttons are the 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 previous buttons or the rectangles are now replaced with this with the thing that you selected similarly for example now this is extremely important not only is one object replaced but if you select let's say dozens or maybe three or four or how many objects <clears throat> so i'm going to copy them and if you select the the place where i want to place them and then i let's say press command shift v now as you can see not only did it replace all of the items it also replaced all the three items that i selected with each particular thing that i selected so now all of those things are replaced and again this is extremely extremely powerful some of the other things that you probably may want to know is the positioning area and the viewing area how those affect when you're actually placing these things so i'm going to link um i'm going to i'm going to put a link to this particular file so you can go play around with it experiment with it if there's anything that's confusing here and this particular feature and this particular file definitely let me know and i can get to that do subscribe to hit the bell icon and i'll see you in the next video take care bye